So I've got a DX7 here, a real one, and OPS7 here. They're not playing the same stuff, they're both independent. Now let's remedy that situation, but first, let's, um, let's see which version we have. See, version 1.8, October 24th, uh, 85, do I test entry? I guess so. Just gonna skip that, just to wipe it up, or partly wipe it up. And I'm gonna go the usual, which is to say internal protect off, function, it's all this info available. Yes, this allows for parameter exchanges to work in, um, in SysX. So here I have Bidul working. Uh, celebrating its 20 years now and a span from Voxengo which is just used as a spectrum analyzer and I have a small mixer here small mixer which barely just sends uh, OPS 7 fully right and my audio input second input on this M audio that I have to here which I pan hard left so hard left hard right Happy so far, happy so far. Let's turn on SysX editor. So turn this on. I'm using this device, this device. I want the bank. This is the hardware bank mirror. So this becomes a live repository, a live vision of what the hardware is. So if I make changes to this, automatically it updates there. The thing is, if I try to say bank get, that doesn't work on a DX7, only on a TX7 and TX816 and all that stuff. I'm gonna turn sending parameters, if I edit sounds on OPS7 or here, edit a special patch like each of its parameters, it's gonna work both ways. And same thing for normal MIDI events. So, see we hear both, we hear both. Let's go here and push them manually. Uh, function, Transmit, yes, let's make a backup of that. Should be receiving, yes, so I just received everything. So for instance, if I click 2-4, both are playing 2-4 if I play Dar Dar Ducks. Now the volumes are not quite right. something simpler okay roughly it this is the noise floor that the DX7 outputs of course it's analog so that's what you get for being analog whereas of course the OPS 7 doesn't have that but that's like minus super away. So we have our bunch of stuff here. What I'm going to do now should only be tested with a real DX7, a Mark 1. Don't do that with a Volca FM. Don't do that with, uh, I don't know, a later DX7 or God forbid another plugin. Not because it's not interesting, but that's not the point that I'm trying to convey here. We've emulated each of the parts of the DX7 separately. The firmware is emulate, simulated, I'm not using the firmware, the original firmware, of course it's copyrighted, but we've implemented it in our own way, in a clean room way, and separately emulated the EGS, the OPS, and the whole DAC subsystem separately. So once you have all these parts and you've figured out how they work, then the bigger picture works better, because all these little interactions between the components are like already done for you, whereas if you look at it from a higher level you don't see when the clamps are made when the you know it's a topic of another video if you want to look at it anyway back to this now I have a few settings that are very important DAC bits right now are set to emulate the compounding DAC there's a few choices this was this would be the clean version so that would emulate somewhat of a I don't know doesn't really make a difference if I if I use the sound, but if I use again, I'm going to use the the test sound that I've been using all the time, which is one of the Aphex Twin uh, sound cloud leaks. So 
So very, very sweet, very, very sweet sound. But if you crank your volume a bit, only on the left channel. This is something I realized much later. And to emulate that, you need to turn on the DAC error. And to match my device, so that to match this particular DX7, that's interesting because the compending is some sort of weird analog process with an analog gate and resistors, which even though they're really precise, it's kind of analog, it's analog switching. So it doesn't reconstruct the waveform perfectly. It, it creates min finite, really minuscule uh, incontuities, but depending on your model, it changes. I had uh, Joan Touze, I was kind enough to run her uh, TX uh, 816 rack so that she has seven of them working and all playing. This exact same sound, I think I was playing just a... See that fuzziness? If I remove that, it's only present on this side. So basically what I want to convey is that on all our devices, that specific little distortion fuzziness, which is much different by the way than just bit reduction. This doesn't work. This is just like bit, re bit reduce the whole thing. It's interesting. It's a sound design tool, but you want to have the compending. So the little minute, finite differences, which I'm explaining in another video, which is not out at this time. But anyway, firmware, older or newer, because yeah, not only you can only really compare OPS7 with a Mark 1, you also need to know its firmware. So I'm going to hit newer. It changes minuscule things, basically. Uh, clamping on the lowest C is not the same, so one falls back up and the other just plays a low, low C. And something related to a key scale level, which isn't synchronized on the same key. So poor Hubert has uh, the older firmware and I have the newer firmware. And I was reporting this bug. <laughs> I was like, no, there's no bug. I, did you check it on your DX7? Of course I did. After like a week, we, I think it's him. If, is it possible the firmware treats that differently? And yes. So you can't really compare uh, a TX7 or not a, T a DX7 II for sure, but you can't compare anything else than this precise version of the firmware. Uh, we only have two, so uh, it's not named. I know uh, 1.8 is the latest official one. There's 1.9 possibly, but we don't know if it's official or not. And the, I'm not talking about the e-cards and all that stuff. I'm going to get somewhere. So, okay. We have that fuzziness. So let's just do the typical thing where it's going to... This uses the pitch EG, which is CPU controlled. Ah, well, you're not going to see my face, but who cares? Showing the graph might help a little all the time. Uh. Oh, one thing I didn't set. See that? At the end? That's the internal filtering of the real DX7, which by default we don't support. So I'm gonna go ref keyboard. So that's mine. See? Much closer frequency response there. And also, yeah, channel mixing, I'll go accurate. Uh, ref, I don't know, there's two options. Fast mixes all these 16 voices together and accurate does the time division multiplexing for some reason, because I like it. <laughs> if you run the plugin at 92, uh, 192 kilohertz or 96 kilohertz, you're gonna have some Huge amount of high frequency content, so you might not want to use that. It's just because I'm autistic and for me it needs to be exactly like hardware, even though it doesn't make sense in a DAW. That's just me. Okay, so we have everything set up. I could do MTS ESP. 
Ha! Yeah, I forgot. Another thing you need to fine tune. Let's put something that aliases like crazy, but won't kill your ears. That sounds like a good candidate. Let's put this way high. Actually, I think it's set up correctly. I'm just going to show how important it is. Uh, function. No, I don't want a MIDI transmit. You. I need something that aliases. Oh, that's one. Sorry for your ears, but I need... See? <laughs> this is very evil. Because we're emulating the exact sample rate of the DX7, all aliasing fallbacks of the oscillators have to match, otherwise you won't get the real sound and some patches won't sound the same. So now be my guest. Let's, let's be our own guest. Let's go here and whack random sysx. Normal range. Another slot, fixed pitch, so basically what this does, it chooses, chooses a sysx file randomly, that's still boring, so let's fuzz the whole thing around, I can't do this fast enough because like data is streaming over, same thing. Same thing. So I could do this for ages, but I've done that for ages. <laughs> Sorry. I've done that for ages at one point, and after two hours, I was like, I give up. So please find a bug. I'd love it. Um, one, I think I remember one of the sounds that cause problems with some emulations. Uh, takeoff. Is it takeoff? No, it's the famous water gun. Where's water gun? Give me water gun. Ah, water gun. This doesn't match. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And that's normal because the internal clock of this and the internal clock of my emulator don't match. But still, sometimes it does match. It depends on the state of the EGs and the state of the internal counters of the firmware. But <laughs> So if you press the same, you're never going to get the same thing either on the real DX7 or there. So there's a few things like that that are not bugs per se. Yeah, St. Ellen's is one of those nasty ones. Anyway, this video has already been too long, so thank you. I'm exhausted and I'm sure there's going to be questions. This is version 1.002. We can't wait for you guys to find issues. I'm not saying this because my head is inflated. It's just I want to have the perfect model possible. We think we got it right. There might be instances where we screwed up at one point, but tell us so and we'll be quite happy to look what's wrong. Look at what's wrong. Thank you.